Hello everybody and welcome to the next video of E3, the roundup of the Xbox conference. So Xbox conference just finished mere moments ago, two hours long, really, really Microsoft, two hours long, are you kidding me? So yeah, it, it, was, it was just tedious by the end. Like, there was no excuse for it. It had the same problem as EA, where it's like, let's just uh, bring in random people to show random things. And, oh, God, it was so pointless for some of them. Like, they showed Forza off, and we'll get into the games later, but they showed Forza off, and then they were just going top gear. Like, I'll put a little bit in the top right now. But they were just going, like, top gear, and it's like, here's a car on stage. Let's let's analyze this fucking car. Just, just let's... Just, just listen. Ladies Here and comes gentlemen, the first of many people that no one knows or cares about. Porsche 911 GT2 RS. Whoa! Real life car! Real life car! A real life car! Oh my god. This is not only the most aggressive expression of Porsche's legendary design. Oh my gosh, it's a real it car. The most powerful road-going 911 Carl, engine ever made. look at this real made. car. Like Man, the Xbox One X. Look it's at them monster. graphics. And with over 4.8 million active mode. players across Xbox so and Windows good. 10, Forza is, is one of the largest racing communities on the planet. Almost like the car you is real. made this historic <laughs> moment possible. It's a real car. Racing, no, that's how good the graphics are. are. <laughs> oh, it's not, in yeah. Unprecedented way. Wow, so this now, is let's take a look at the Porsche 911 GT2 RS in Forza Motorsport 7 running I, I, on I totally Xbox One X. At, at a I'm joined convention. on stage by two presenters for a... Look, look, Microsoft, Microsoft, you're not top gear. I'm just here to look at the games. I'm just here to look at your shit. And, you know, after this, then they were like, they kind of listened to people in the wrong way. Because they did announce Scorpio. Well, that's the thing that we'll be talking about most. Like, that's going to be the video straight after this that will go into the specs and stuff. But they showed the Scorpio and it's like, right, now we're going to show 42 games. 42. And it was a non-stop barrage. Like, there was no way to tweet. It's like game all right done next game hold on a minute no next game just just a second i can't next game next game next game next game next game next game it's like can you just stop it's just a non-stop constant barrage xbox one exclusive okay next game xbox one exclusive xbox one exclusive and that's the thing that could sum it up best like bloody it's coming to xbox one exclusively oh and by the way they did give the name for the Project Scorpio, which is the absolute dumbest name ever, which is the Xbox One X. I'm not joking you. That is the name. That That is the name, the Xbox One X. But yeah, so they announced the Xbox One X and it's a shit PC. Like, they have put so much time and effort into making it like a PC. It's... It's basically a very crappy PC and they're like, Oh, we want it to be like a PC, so we've put this spec in it. And we want it to be like a PC, so we've put a liquid cooling system in it. I shit you not. They have put a liquid cooling system in it. And I'm like, are you really? Really though? Really? You've put a liquid cooling system in this thing? Oh yes. Oh yes, my friend. We want our liquid cooling system. We want this to basically be uh, an X and we want this to be a shit PC. So I hope you like, uh, I hope you like playing a shit PC because here it is in all its glory. If that's the word that you want to use. It's certainly not the word that I would use, but you know, whatever, each to their own. And then it was a, it was a cavalcade of extremely mediocre games, like not one really impressed. There was one or two at the end that did get a very big attention grabbing spotlight. But beyond that there was there wasn't really that much to to be like, Oh my god There was there was only one Maybe two things at most that people were like, "Oh my God, it's the best shit in the world," and some of the some of the things they showed, you could have very, 
very easily just been like, okay, dude, that's that's enough. You've you've had your fun. Let's just let's just end it. And nope, next game. No, please, you don't understand. You just go and nope, next game, next game, next game. Like it just the, by the end of it, and this is gonna be where you're gonna notice the the tone of my voice across the course of the videos I'm gonna make. And I don't know how I'm gonna make them because I ain't gonna make 42 videos across the course of, of this E3. Like, um, we've only got a couple of hours for Bethesda, so I'll probably cover the stuff with the Scorpio or the now known Xbox One X. Uh, get both this and the Xbox One X Scorpio videos uploaded, then clear them off ready for Bethesda, and then I'll um, do all of the recordings tomorrow because Bethesda's going to be at 3 a.m. Let's just check on the, the countdown screen here. Uh, Bethesda's going to be at 3 a.m., I think. And by the time that ends, that's going to be 4 a.m. So it's just going to be a, a, a mess. It's just going to be an absolute mess because 4 a.m. will be bedtime. And then I'll have to wake up. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, 2 hours 54 minutes, which is at 3 a.m. So, I'll try and get some up, but by the end of tomorrow, when I've covered most of the Xbox games, you will notice a huge sarcasm in my voice, just like a huge don't give a shit in my voice, because, as I say, when it first started, it was showing some alright games. I'm like, okay, this is fine, this is okay. This is good, but, but the, after, like, two hours of bombardment, when it got to the really good stuff, like Ori and the Blind Forest 2, which was a game that was confirmed, obviously that got a lot of hype, but by the time we got to the end of it and it was showing stuff like that, I should have been absolutely over the moon for Ori and the Blind Forest. And while I should have been over the moon, the only thing I could think about is, is this going to end yet? Oh, please, is it ending yet? Is it over yet? Can can I go home? Is it done? Is it done? It's still not done. No, it's still not done. It's still going. It's still going. Okay, fair enough. It's still going. Well, I, I mean, I, I didn't want it to still be going, but nope, it's still going. Still going strong here. So, yeah, I just, I, I, I just wanted it to end. By the end of the two hours, I, I just wanted it to end. I just, just stop. Microsoft, please stop. And as I say, the Xbox One X is a shit PC. Like, there's no reason whatsoever for it to honestly, truly exist. It's just a shit PC. It, it tried to be a PC with the liquid cooling system and all the other bollocks to be like, hey, look, we can be just as good as a PC. And it's like, no, it's not. Especially because of the price, which is 5 hundred dollars you can get an okay i'm not gonna say you can get the best well you can get an okay pc for five hundred dollars so nobody is gonna be buying that shit no one's gonna be buying that shit phil spencer not for five hundred dollars so the price point's a bit of a fail but yeah xbox overall it was an okay stream but like EA, they kept bringing out pointless people, showing fucking cars on the screen. It, it, you didn't need to bring the car into the studio and do a bloody Top Gear. It, you dragged it out for too long. There was so much fluff. And this two-hour stream could have easily been an hour. It could have been wrapped up in an hour, but they had to just like show a cavalcade of shovelware that a lot of people won't care about. As well as, like, just bringing cars and shit out. And by the end of it, y you were just done. You just wanted it to end. So, that's that's Microsoft. But, hey, if we're going to give it we're gonna give it a final verdict. If we're going to just, like, give the roundup itself a final verdict. You know, we got to see the new system. There was some okay games. There was some absolutely brilliant games. But they're going to be exclusive. And there was some shit games. So, it, it was average Three out of five. It it wasn't. It was wasn't anything special. It it just got tiring. It just got tiring by the end. It just got really tedious and tiring and <sighs> ready to go sleep by the end of it. And that's that's like no joke. It was by the end because 
everybody just wanted it to end, but they just wouldn't. They just kept going. By the end, people were getting really bored, starting to check Twitter. Some people were starting to fall asleep, and it's just like, okay, well, you done clearly fucked up. You just made that way too long and dragged out than it should have been. So, yeah, three out of five, nothing great. But let me know your thoughts on the Microsoft press conference. Uh, tell me what from the press conference if you watched it or if you're about to watch it do go watch it but then after you've watched it do come back do tell me what are you excited for from the e3 press con or from the xbox press conference was there something that really caught your eye was there something that really stood out to you that you're definitely excited to see to come to pc if it does come to pc uh, is there is there anything that you found in particular was good about the Microsoft conference or anything that was particularly bad? Let me know your thoughts on the Microsoft press conference. Uh, but for now, if you did indeed enjoy this video, do please feel free to leave a like. It does help out the channel. And of course, if you don't want to miss out on any of the other E3 coverage that we've got coming up across the next couple of days, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bing the bell so the notifications actually come through and of course there are links down below to my twitter and even now if you'd like to see what i'm posting live right now where i did post some tweets about the conference as i was watching it live as well as a link to my public discord if you want to come in and chat and a link to my patreon if you'd like to go an extra mile but for now thank you all for watching and i will see all of you in the next one